is the $20,000 pyramid. Today's special guests are Adrienne Barbeau and Lamar Burton. And now, here is your host, Dick Clark. Hey, hey. <clears throat> well, fancy meeting you here. Easy way to start. If you were with us yesterday, you know we ran out of time and we had two great games. LeVar, are you tired? Do you, you get a little rest? Oh, got plenty of rest. All right. <laughs> Shout from the sidelines. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, don't say a word. Just lend moral support. Are you ready to I'm go ready. with what would have been yes. the end of yesterday if we'd had yes. enough time? Cynthia is about to try to win $10,000. I quickly remind you, six subjects here for only a list. Don't use your hands. If you make a mistake, that's what sounds. You ladies are ready. We'll have a go at it and then go from the other top of the show. Stand by. Here's your first subject. Go. The knob. The, things on a television set, the, things on a radio. The keyhole. Things on a door. Yes. Tyler Moore. Mary. Tina Scott, yes. Bonbons. Hershey. Candies, chocolate yes. candies. Uh, a, fen a cyclone fence. A, Perimeters, uh, boundaries. Uh, uh, braces. Teeth braces. Um, Things that hold other things together. Pass it. Chocolate cake. The devil. Temptations. Uh, yes. Uh, an orange rind. A hurt knee. Uh, things that are scored. Things that uh, are. A, a, a hurt. A bruised knee. Um, things that are scraped. Yes. Scratched. Okay. The other one. A cyclone fence. Perimeters, a, boundaries, no, things a, uh, that retain uh, uh, things. Uh, braces, teeth braces, a uh, uh, tooth retain. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. You know what a cyclone fence is? Four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, but I think of the. Ladies, uh, before you go into your rehash, I'll give you a little time to do that, and we'll start our next game right after this. I wanted to say a barbed wire fence. That's what you say. This is kind of the normal setup. We come out and say, welcome to the $20,000 pyramid. So we're kind of starting with today's show with the leftover of yesterday now taken care of. I don't want to characterize you as a leftover, my dear, but you're Thank now you with... <laughs> no, <laughs> Cynthia, you're now partner with LeVar Burton in excellent hands. Are you ready, sir? Absolutely. Let's introduce the new player, Debbie Silberberg. What do you do, Debbie? I am an unemployed director-actress. That's an interesting uh, combination. <laughs> oh, uh, might get out there and tell yourself what to do. Anything, anything. Everything. Ladies, you're going to start us off in a second. Here are the subjects. We have the Night Owls, Money Matters, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Check the Source, oh, $50 an hour, Fruit Basket, and uh, Miss Barbeau makes the first choice. We'll try Fruit Basket. Please describe for your partner uh, these fruits. You have 30 seconds. Don't use a word in the answer unless it does not convey the essence of the answer. If it does, the bird sounds like that. And, Debbie, these are fruits. Fruits. Ready. Go. George Washington chopped down the tree. Apple tree. No, uh, a little cherry a little, tree. Yes. Uh, this is not an orange, but a oh, lemon. Oh, love you. Read the word. Go ahead. This is. Uh, it grows on a vine. A whole grape. Tom. Yes. This is a type of melon. A cantaloupe. Yes. Uh, this is. Uh, they ate this in the Garden of uh, Past. Uh, apple. This, no. This is a, a purple fruit. A uh, grape. A plum. A, a dark purple. Pass it. You peel it. This is uh, what we serve at Thanksgiving. Cranberries. Yes. This is uh, an orange fruit. It's uh, got a pit in it. It's not a pear. Mm, I'm tough sorry. Tough category I'm for some reason or other. What was the one you peeled? The one you peeled. I, I just, Purple. I looked at, the, it said orange, didn't it? Yeah, you read orange. I, I think you were saying I thought it was lemon. not lemon or I'm something sorry, like that. I'm sorry, I just, I went up. Uh, that threw you a little off your pace. In any case, you picked up four points, and LeVar Burton now gets his first choice. How about uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Dick? Okay, please describe these things that cat... <laughs> Things that cats do. Yeah. Things okay. that cats do. Ready? Go. Okay, um, when you're going up a tree. Stretch, scratch. Uh, claw, climb. Right. Um, what you said before when you. Scratch. Uh huh. And um, when the hair falls out, they. Shed. Yes. And. Purr. Um, when they jump on a mouse. Pounce. Yes, uh huh. And that's. Hiss. Yes. Uh, and uh, when they kind of. Um, rub. Cuddle up to you. Uh, they... Cuddle. Um... Oh. Uh, they... <laughs> <laughs> That's all they do, they cuddle. Not snuggle. Good. Not good. What, what do they do? They snuggle. They snuggle. That's a weird, that's a weird yeah. word, snuggle. Yeah. Did you ever hear the phrase, snug as a bug in the rug? Snug as a bug. I don't know how you'd ever time. get that out of that. Yeah. That's a tough word. All right, let's see what we have. Four choices still left, Debbie. Check the source. Check the source. Describe... Uh-oh. 
Possible bonus coming up here, seven out of seven, or a score of 11 means a $500 bonus, as you describe these things that are used for reference. Okay. Things that are used for reference. Ready? Go. Okay, this is what you take instructions to cook something for. A recipe. Okay, and this is what is round and you turn it. Globe. Words. Okay, and this is what you read your zodiac every day you read Astrology it. horoscope. Okay, and this is what you read, uh, not white, but they are... Black, or yellow pages. Okay, and this is where you go, you stock. Market. He's, he's the person who does it. Stock you. broker. Okay, and this is the uh, world it's atlas. I know uh, it's a book. The world of encyclopedia. Farmers, farmers encyclopedia. Uh, no. almanac. Okay, and this is the take a Harris or a Gallup pull. Okay, and that's it. The bonus. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel a little better. <laughs> that's your heart. That's a happy surprise. All right, eleven to six, Cynthia. We're going to take the night owls, please. Please describe uh, these people who work at night. People who work at night. Okay. Ready? Go. A uh, policeman. Another word for a policeman is a traffic cop. Okay. And a uh, cub. He works on a newspaper. He is a, a newspaper. Reporter. Mm hmm. And Dracula was a. A vampire. Right. And the guy who makes bread is a. Baker. Right. And he cleans up. He's, he's a janitor. Sanitation. Right. And uh, an art. He sells art pictures. Dealer. Right. And he's the night. Watchman. Right. What? Right. Mm -hmm. You got yourself a two-point lead there. LeVar and Cynthia, let's see what your opponents do now. We have Money Matters at $50 an hour. Okay. Money Matters. Uh, money Matters. Okay. Debbie, you want to give these clues? Right. Mm -hmm. Please describe for your partner these things found in a bank. Oh, I work Things that. found in a bank. I didn't. Ready? <laughs> Go. Okay, this is where they lock it up at the Vault. end of the day. Uh, it, if it's... It's it's lock safe. it up. They, right, okay. This is what rings if, if you... Alarm. Okay. And this is what you write out a... Uh, uh, deposit slip. No, you write out your own personal check. Okay, and this is uh, a French coin. Uh, or a Frank, dollar. A right. Frank. Okay, and this is you, you ask someone to give you money, you ask for Borrow, a loan. Borrow, loan. Ask for a loan. Okay. okay, you put not withdrawal, but deposit. Okay, and this is uh, you have your own personal savings account. Right. That's it. Ladies, a tough break with the, the category uh, on fruits. I you did so well with the exception of that one. You got perfect scores the last couple of times. 18 to 13, Cynthia and LeVar, that subject was $50 an hour. Who's to do what? I am to give. Thank All you. All right, please describe these things you discuss with a psychiatrist. And let's see, you need a score of 19 to win this thing. Six out of seven. Things you discuss with a psychiatrist. Ready? Go. Not your father, but, but your... your mother. Mm-hmm. And I had a nightmare. It was a bad... Dream. And not my present, but my... Past. And I am of the female... Sex. And I have a... Uh, skip it. Um, I am scared of something. I have a, a strong... Fear or a phobia? Right. And uh, um, the Channel 7 show, Blank Island. Um, Hawaiian Island? No, no, no. Uh, uh, a, Fantasy uh, Island. Right. Hey, there it is. <laughs> That's a win by... The hair of your Jimmy Jim Chin. Let's go to the winner's circle. Boy, oh boy. All right, folks, oh, jump on over here because well. the game is going to continue momentarily. Uh, all right, LeVar. Really, all I'm going to do is sort of vamp until you get yourselves settled in because we're ready to go. Please don't use your hands. Get your heads in order now. Tune in. Watch his face. You ready? Good luck. For $15,000 now. Here's your first subject. Go. Derbies, bowlers, tops. Types of hats. Oh, I'm flying around this light bulb and I might get my wings burnt. What a moth said. Um, Jefferson. Um, Thomas's, famous Tom. Children's heads. Um, babies' bottoms. Things that are soft, things that are round. Um, um. Things that are not fuzzy. Butter. Um, let's go on. Oh, go ahead. Uh, snow, sand, um... Things in particles? Um, snow, snow drifts. Things that you shovel? Right. Films, um... Things that are exposed, um, things... Movies. Things that are shown? Uh, thoughts, ideas. Um, Things you reflect on. Huh? Um, films. Um. Mm. Yeah. So, let me clear up the, uh, the buzzer thing. 
in uh, describing things you pat, he said butter. It technically is a pat. It's a uh -huh. noun as opposed to right. a verb, things you pat. So we couldn't take it's that. He's trying to be slick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the judge was slicker than you were, my friend. The other one is tough. Movies and your thoughts. Anybody have another, another thought? A what voice? Your voice. Your voice. Oh, That's oh, a great oh, oh, Ethel Merman's yeah. voice. An actor's voice. Things that are thrown, things that are projected. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Cynthia, you have $700. We'll be back oh, to play again nice. right after this. Your voice, that's about the best. All right, as the $20,000 pyramid continues, we welcome aboard a new player whose name is Patricia Pippert. And what do you do, Patricia? I work for an executive search firm here in Manhattan. You're the headhunter, I think they call you, right? Or flesh peddlers, yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm all those nice little uh, yes. names for you folks. No, it's a tough job. LeVar, you ready to go again? Right. Give me a second to rest up while I uh, wish your former partner here good luck. <laughs> Cynthia, Thank you've you. got $700. You're trying for 20000 now. Yes. You are partnered with a lady that I would like to say that my oldest son asked for this, but in truth, I would like one of your posters. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get them as long as I you mean, won't show it to your older son? No, he's old enough. The younger guy, I mean, he's liable to, I don't know, salivate in the back room or something. <laughs> you are joining the ranks of Warren Beatty and Farrah Fawcett and all these people. How do you get a poster made? Well, uh, I mean, they the, come to the, you and say, we the want the poster to people came to me and said, yes, we think it's, it's time. And I have a fantastic photographer who did uh, the Hotel California album for the yeah. Eagles and several other people. And I would we, uh, say offhand he had a rather good subject. Well, it's dear. a whole new image, Dick. It's, a, me it's terrific. It is a bestseller, and congratulations. <laughs> you, you ladies are going to wait a second while we start with the new player. We have right in the kisser, the grand, and you can pronounce that any way you want, pre, pray, whatever, horrors, explosive sounds designed for living, anything Italian style, and we start with LeVar Burton. We've decided for, I don't know, what reason, the Grand Prix. <laughs> oh, I, I think it probably has something to do with those letters. Words that begin with, with the letters P-R-E. -E. so smart. Yes. Oh, okay. Words that begin with P-R-E. Ready? Go. Um, the right now. A pr present. Right. Um, you're not ugly, you're... Pretty. Mm -hmm. And he's a minister. A Priest. Or uh, uh, preacher, Baptist. preacher. Right. Um... The print media, the uh, pre um, uh, newspapers, press, press. right? Um, uh, a police um, Patrol, um, station precinct, is a right. Precinct. Uh huh. To the Constitution, we have the preamble, right? The beginning part. Um, not jelly or jams, but preserves. Right. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Terrific. <laughs> Couldn't be better. Adrian, that leaves you five choices. We'll try anything Italian style. All right, please describe these famous Italians. Oh, boy. Famous Ooh. Italians. Ready? Go. Uh, discovered America. Christopher? Columbus. Yes. Uh, with Jerry Lewis. Dean Martin. Yes. Uh, Mario Puzo's novel, the book with... Godfather. Yes. Uh, famous painter, the Sistine Picasso. Chapel. Picasso. Uh, the Sistine uh, Chapel. Michelangelo. Yes. Uh, married to Sophia Loren. He's a producer. Carlo Ponti. Yes. Uh, not Hitler, but... Uh, Mussolini. Yes. This is, uh, oh gosh, the world, let's see, he was an a Italian explorer or a... Vespucci? No, another one. Um, not a guy, but a... Oh, uh, that was a tough one to get. <laughs> we have, aside from our distinguished judge, a very great voice of authority here who speaks at the beginning of the show, Bob Clayton. Bob, what was Galileo's job? It's been nice working with you, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> He was an astronomer. He was a map maker. Yeah, he was, he was a map maker and an astronomer. He had all sorts of telescopes and stuff. Patricia, please. Right in the kisser. All right. These are things that get kissed. Things that get kissed. Okay. Ready? Go. This part of my face. Your cheek. Mm -hmm. I'm not the bride, but the... The groom. Mm -hmm. uh, and the seven dwarfs. So white. Mm -hmm. uh, a blank of honor. Um, a medal, a badge. Mm -hmm. uh, the earth, another word for earth. On the... The ground. Yep. Um, kissing... Um, Cousins. Yes. <laughs> uh, they kiss it in Ireland for good luck. Um, they, they, a rock. It's okay. a kind of rock. Um, Another word for rock. Stone. Uh-huh. What kind of stone? Blarney stone. Yes. That's it. <laughs> the judge who said they kiss it on an island for good luck. <laughs> a native. LeVar and Patricia, if you continue to do that sort of thing, good. <laughs> <laughs> You'll Do get 21 points and win the lady a thousand yeah. bucks. All right, uh, it's 14 to 6. Cynthia? We're going to take explosive sounds, please. All right, please describe for your partner these things that go boom. 
Things oh. that go boom. Okay. Ready? Go. You crash the symbols. Right. And a hand, you throw it in the war. Grenade. A hand. Right. And at the 4th of July, they shoot off the... Fireworks. Right. And uh, not a city, but a smaller than Town. a city. Right. And on Wall Street, we have the... the stock market. Right. And a car has a... Boom. Bumper. Uh, uh, at the back. Horn. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And a tire will explode. explode. If, uh, if you uh, have tire that on the road. Mm -hmm. That's it, ladies. You finished the list. What was it? I said... Uh, Ladies, the score is uh, 14 to 12. Cynthia and Adrian, that's not particularly good news at this point, the way that no. other team's going. You have the choice of horrors design for, for design living. for living. We'll take design for living. And, okay, how do you want to play it with the screen? Adrian will give. All right, Adrian, describe for your partner these things that shape or design things. Things that shape or design things. Ready? Go. Uh, he sews clothes. Uh, the fashion designer. No, a man who sews clothes. Just does the tailor. Yes. Uh, you wear this to keep you, uh, thin. Yes. Uh, he paints. A, a painter. painter. Another Picasso. Word, another word for a painter. I am an... Artist. Yes. Uh, women get this in their breasts to make them big. Silicone. Yes. Uh, an interior... Decorator. Yes. Uh, this is... You, you cast a... You, Spell. You put a... You put, uh, clay in this and cast a... Uh, Mold. Yes. Uh, a man who builds things with lumber. Uh, carpenter. Oh, I'm afraid the buzzer beats you there, ladies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we have an 18 to 14 situation. To win the game, LeVar, you've got to come up with 19 points. I should point out to you, Patricia, that if you go ahead and get 21 points, you'll have a $1,000 bonus. That's there for two reasons. One, to reward you. One, to confuse you. Uh, because the main idea is to win the game. 19 will do that. 21's a bonus. Please stand by and describe for your partner these things in a horror movie. Mm -hmm. Things in a horror movie. They need 19. Ready? Go. Uh, will you bury people? A graveyard. The, 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 the grave. Uh, uh, um, the ground. Uh, um, another word for the it. Crypt, um, um, the mortuary. Go the, on. The, pass. Uh, the, your whole body, all the bones inside of the you. The skeleton. Mm -hmm. Uh, what you do with a knife? You give a little... Jab, a stick? Uh, yep. Yeah, um, um, uh, a jab, a stick, uh, uh... You, you push it in real quick, go on. A stake. Uh, go on. Uh, a gila, a great big gila. Monster. Uh-huh. Uh, roar! A big, uh, a sound somebody makes, a big... A roar? Uh, 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 a sound, scream? A hoot, uh, um... Isn't that amazing? I can't believe it. What? I knew that was gonna happen. Poor baby. She just... I know you should have given. This is what you call a state of shock. Here's a winner that's sitting here ready to pack up her clothes and leave. Yes, I was, I, I was already ready to say I'm really sorry. That's a tough break. Yeah. You, you deserve... Some of the cemetery, how? You deserved a better break than that, but unfortunately, that's part of what makes this thing interesting. Yes. Uh, Patricia, we have consolation gifts for you. Cynthia? Cynthia. Cynthia, we're going to try for $20,000. All right, Cynthia, how do you feel about $20,000? Love it. You could love every minute of that. Let's do it in a minute, ladies. For $20,000, here is your first subject. Go. Uh, Orlando Cepeda, Mickey Mantle. Baseball players. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad I won. I'll wear the crown and carry Burke what, Parks. What Amer Miss America shirt. says. Yes. A black cat crossing the road. Bad Don't luck walk thing. under a ladder. Superstition. Yes. Right. Uh, a, a hit album, an LP, your voice, Records. your voice, Things you record. Yes. a tea kettle, things that whistle, a, sh uh, a creamer, things that pour, a tea kettle, a creamer, um, a jug, let's pass, a geyser, uh, uh, okay, uh, the murderer, uh, a Perry Mason defendant, um, things in a crime story. Uh, the, things... the, uh, the murderer. Let's see. Uh, things Richard in a courtroom. Speck. Richard Speck. Murderers. Um, Assassins. The, killers. The, the defendant. Uh, a liar. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a perfect one. A guilt-ridden Catholic. Things that make it... People who make a confession. Oh, yes, they would have I... accepted that, I'm sure. The other one was uh, a whale on the other thing, a tea kettle and a whale. 
Yeah. Right. There I were a lot of us. I knew there was something, but a geyser. Well, uh, didn't have Judge, a spout. would you have accepted uh, for things with a spout a geyser? Mm -hmm. yeah. You would have. Yes, apparently so. Yeah. That, I was I was right. afraid of that. One. All right, Cynthia, you got nine hundred and fifty dollars. Well, you'll do it the hard way. That's all. <laughs> yeah, the cheese meal can take me. Oh, we're talking about fights with the judge. The judge is a yeah, good old rascal. The judge happens to be a lady, by the way. A lot of people they, they cast, cast him as a chauvinist pig up there, but it's a lady. We gotta run, folks. We'll see you all again tomorrow. For now, Dick Clark. Today's consolation prizes are a blue luster shampoo and new blue luster plus carpet shampoo with grease cutters and brighteners to remove ground in dirt and grime. And comfortable Hager slacks, machine washable in a wide range of beautiful colors and patterns. Hager slacks, because looking good makes you feel good. Plus the supply of pleasant tasting sugar free Sipa Call, called the professional mouthwash. More Sipa Call is used in hospitals than all other brands combined. Also from Cody, a gift collection of Masumi fragrances. Masumi, the essence of inner beauty by Cody. And for a delicious hot breakfast, here's Downy Flake. Jumbo waffles, regular blueberry, or buttermilk. You get a breakfast break with Downy Flake. our X and O game. And let's meet our current champion. Here he is, right our here. Our current champion whose winning total in cash and prize is $13,600 is a lighting designer whose interests include tennis and travel. Meet Bob O'Neill. And his opponent is the director of a computer data center who once played in an all-girl rock and roll band. Meet Janet Monday. What a pretty name, Janet Monday. Janet Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. How are you? I'm terrific, thank you. Welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. Nice to Pleasure. see you. You have some people in the audience that we'd like to introduce. Would you do that, please? Who are all those people? They're right in the first right row. In the front, that's uh, Bob, who I work with, and that's Judy, who moved out with me from New York. Well, let's have a nice round of applause for those two folks and for this lady right here, who would love to become our new champion on Tic Tac Doe, right? Absolutely. Janet, good luck today. Our current champion is Bob O'Neill, whose uh, winnings so far are exactly $13,600 in cash and prize. I've got to tell you a little secret about Bob. Don't know whether he's going to like this or not. But uh, a couple of shows ago, he told me he couldn't tie a tie. And he said that because he very seldom ever has an occasion to wear a tie. Is that right? Exactly. But you did an extremely nice job on this one. Well, I, I wasn't uh, pressured by the... Uh the guy back there. He didn't oh, come I up there. We got to get out there. We got to get out there. So he, I had time. To he's do gotten it. nicer, huh? Yeah, Since yeah. it always happens when quicker. you become the champion, it becomes nicer to you. Hey, good luck on this show. Thank you. And good luck to you. Here we go. Let's get it underway. <laughs> Don't you tell him I can't tie a tie. Sorry about that, Bob. Let's take a look. By the way, last show you had tied two times, and you were about to play your third game. Remember that? Here are the categories for that game. The subjects for this game are potluck pictures, bodies of water, television cops, where are you, medical facts, where are you, medical facts, women in songs, Joe's and Joseph's second jobs, and news of the 1980s. And the pot at this point is worth 3,600 big ones. Bob is our champion. You select first. Where would you like to move? TV cops, please. All righty, TV cops, it shall be. Here's the question on TV cops. This 1970s cop series starred Steve Forrest as the leader of a special police tactical force which was composed of Vietnam veterans. Name the series, Bob. SWAT. Right. Special Weapons and Tactics Team, SWAT. 
Good for an X. Put it up there in TV Cops. Let's shuffle the categories around. Bought up to $3,800. Janet, with the correct answer, you'll put it at least to the $4,000 mark. I'll take where are you? In the center. That would make that pot $4,100 if you answer it correctly because the center box is worth $300. Janet, it's the 11th century and you're in a small English town. The townspeople have shuttered their windows and are waiting for a royal lady to ride by. You're forbidden to look, but you can bet Tom will sneak a peep. First, name the lady who is about to ride by. Then, what town are you in? Think about those for a few seconds. Again, it's the 11th century. You're in a small English town. The townspeople have shuttered their windows and are waiting for a royal lady to ride by. You're forbidden to look, but you can bet Tom will sneak a peep. Name the lady who is about to ride by. Lady Godiva. You gotta know it's Lady Godiva. Now, if you can tell me what town you're in, you have the center box. Is that Coventry? It was Coventry. <laughs> Lady Godiva and Coventry, the double-pronged answer. Put an O there. $300 the pot. Takes that pot to $4,100. Bob, you were staying right at the top of the show. I like those big pots of money, right? Exactly. You've won one of those already to get where you are. Let's move the categories around. <laughs> see if you can add to it, Bob. Where do you like to move? TV cops is good to me before. Again, television cops. Bob, this actor played an ex-cop who became a private detective in the television series Harry O and Richard Diamond. Name him. Uh, the actor? Yes. Uh, David Jansen. Right, the late David Jansen. Fine actor. Put an X there. Let's shuffle again. Another $200 in the pot. And hello, Janet. I think I'll try Joe's and Joseph's. All righty. Here's the question, Janet. This famous businessman and political leader served as the U.S. Ambassador to Great Britain and Chairman of the Securities Exchange Commission. He was also the father of a president, a U.S. Attorney General, and a senator. Name him. Joseph Kennedy. You are correct with your answer. Joseph P. Kennedy, as a matter of fact. Put an O there. $4,500 in the pot and a lot of boxes and a lot of subjects left. We'll be back to our game between Bob and Janet in just a moment. Having trouble on the green? Just can't sink that putt? I don't know what to do. No need to fear. Bob Parker is here. Introducing Golf Bob's Way, a brand new instructional video from Game Show Network. For decades, Bob has shared his legendary putting advice with hundreds of Game Show contestants. Just shake it into the hole. Now, it's your turn. Act now, and we'll even throw in this official putter warmer used by the legend himself. Order Golf Bob's Way. It will take your game to a whole new level. Bob, so far you defeated one opponent. Defeat four more for a total of five, and this will be yours, Jay. For your driving pleasure, Bob, you will win a brand new car! Four more to go, Janet, standing between you and that automobile, plus three more opponents. Let's see what's going to happen as we continue this game, however, with $4,500 in the pot. Bob, select. Women and songs for a block, please. All right, to block Janet, answer this. One of Frankie Lane's big hits of the 1950s was about a very wicked woman. The song is titled For an Evil Queen from the Old Testament. For a block, name the wicked woman of song. Delilah? No, Jezebel. Jezebel was the song. Frankie Lane, big hit in the 1950s. Let's shuffle the categories again. Still $4,500 pot. Janet? Try News of the 80s to win. Thought you might go for that one. News of the 1980s. If you answer this question correctly, Janet, you will pick up $4,700, and you will be our new tic-tac-toe champion. This is the question. In 1980, during the U.S.-Iranian hostage negotiations, a three-man delegation from a North African nation served as an intermediary. For tic-tac-toe and $4,700, name this North African country. Is that Algeria? You win! <laughs> so our star of the all-girl rock and roll band is our new champ. You want to sing a song for us, Janet, or just... 
I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, if you're speechless, then you're not going to be able to sing a song for us, so we'll just move right on. You picked up $4,700 in cash. That's almost as good as a one-nighter uh, with a rock and roll band, right? At least. Very, very <laughs> nice, very nice little sum of money, Janet, and the opportunity in a moment to go play against our dragon for more money and hopefully a lot of nice prizes. Bob, you're standing over there with a lot of money and prizes to your credit, and I hope you're pleased with the way things have turned out here, although you didn't win this particular match, are you? I'm very happy. You picked up $13,600 all total, Bob, and our thanks for being with us on Tic Tac Toe. Thank Bob O'Neill, a lighting designer. Okay, Janet, if you'll join me over here, we'll try to beat the dragon. Come on over. Here we go. Turn right around there and take a look at those numbers because they could mean lots of money and prizes for you because behind the numbers are various amounts of money, of course, the tick, attack, and the dragon. Reach $1,000 or more or get the tick and the tack, and, of course, you'll win a prize package. We usually like to tell you a little bit about what you're going to be winning. If you like to dance the night away, Janet, and you told me you do because you go to a, well, you've been to a country nightclub here in Southern California a couple of times, then the gifts in this next package should keep you turning on your toes. Listen to Mr. Twinkle Toes. First, Janet, move those disco feet across the floor with the help of this exciting stereo disco jukebox. It's a stereo jukebox from Morse Electrophonic with multicolored lights that flash to the beat of the music. AM, FM stereo, record changer, eight-track player recorder from Morse Electrophonic. And next, you'll take over that disco dance floor and set the pace when you're wearing the very latest in designer jeans. Be sensational in the look of the 80s, the Jordash look, an exciting Jordash jeans and Jordash blazers with a fit and look that's right, the Jordash look. And finally, Janet, when you're dogging it from the disco beat, slow down the tempo and we suggest the waltz. And there's no better place to dance it than in beautiful Vienna. We'll fly you to Austria, a small country in Central Europe famous for its beautiful mountain scenery and renowned ski slopes. You'll also enjoy touring the magnificent countryside, taking in its historic past, viewing the towering Alps and their foothills that stretch across the western, southern, and central parts of the country. And then you'll continue on a tour which includes Germany, France, and Switzerland. Compliments of Club Universe. And Janet, this dance package is worth in cash and price. Prizes over four thousand one hundred fifty dollars. One fell swoop, you can do all that. Would you please move over here and get close to our board? I don't want you to get lost. Keep walking around. Let's see, where do I go next here? All right, avoid the dragon, and you lose everything. Get the tick and the tack, and you automatically get the dough. Let's cover them up, move them around, and uh, are you going to do all your own selecting? Oh, no. All right, let's go out here to the audience, Nick. You have some special friends whom we met earlier. Four. Number four. Who said four? Judy says, Judy says four. Judy, she's listening to you. Good decision. $300. What do you think, Robert? Eight. Eight it is. Bob says eight. To go with $300, let's look and see what's behind number eight. Tack. $700. She's going to do it all by herself. Uh, take three. Number three it is. On the board, number three. $700 or a tick. $500. Only two away. $200 a check. One. Who said one? Judy. Said Judy, this is yours, number one. Maybe she'll split the money with you. Tick, tack, two. Nice, huh? From now on, you always listen to what Judy says. Even if you think Judy may be wrong from time to time, you listen to that sweet According thing. to Judy, she's never wrong. Let's reveal the dragon. Where is that right? If you don't believe it, ask Judy. She'll tell you. Two, five, six, seven, nine. Where's the dragon on the board? Behind number nine down here. I want to give you a total now because you've racked up a pretty good total in a hurry, my dear. Janet, you have in cash and prizes, including that fantastic trip, $8,850. Isn't that nice? You want to go play again? I do. You feel up to this? You better believe it. All her energy has not uh, been used up, so let's meet a new opponent. Jay, who do we have for Janet? Wink, he's a singer and songwriter who also writes magazine articles. His hobby is sports. Meet John Lance. One thing, we've been getting a lot of people on the show lately who are involved in music. Janet used to be involved in music, still loves it. And, of course, John over there is, as Jay said, a singer 
and a songwriter. John, welcome to our show. Thank you. It's good to be here, Wayne. You may be smart, but you don't know how to spell John. What is uh, J-O-N? Left out of That H? was my father's fault. Uh, he wanted to give me the name John, but my mother didn't want me to be a junior, so they threw out the H. Will you accept that audience? I will accept that. I guess that's okay. Yeah, why not? Yeah, he knows a lot about what he's doing. Tell me about your songwriting, John. Well, I've been writing for over 10 years. I've written about 220 songs, mostly in rock, pop, and R&B. It's a lot of songs. Have yes. any of them ever, have you ever had one recorded? Yes, I've had a few recorded, uh, but not as many as I'd like to. That's why I've been moving lately to other areas. I've been writing magazine articles. How's that going? That's going all right, but it takes a little while, so that's why I'm here today on Tic Tac Toe. Well, why don't we get started and see why uh, you can't win here. If you're going to win, let's get on with it. All right, Janet, John, you ready? Here are the subjects. For this game, we're going to be dealing with games and foreign words and action films, presidents, aviation, funny ladies, physics, secret category can be any category at all, and as you probably know, a correct answer in that category doubles the pot. We complete the thing with royalty, and you have your nine subjects, and Janet, if you're ready, please select. I know nothing about aviation, but I love the center box. All right, you're a gambler, aren't you? Janet, oh, yes. on aviation, I'll give you the names of two famous fighter aircraft, and you name the country in which they were manufactured. One, the Yak, Y-A-K, and the Stuka, S-T-U-K-A. Think about those. Here's your extra time. Again, Janet, two famous fighter aircraft. You name the country in which they were manufactured as I give you their names. One, Yak, Y-A-K. Was it Russia? Yes. It was? Two... <laughs> She's asking me a question. I'm asking the questions. You give me the answers. This one, how about Stuka, S-T-U-K-A? Germany? Yes! She knows nothing about aircraft, but she just threw $300 into the pot and got the center box on aviation. Very well done, Janet. Let's move the categories around and give John his first shot out of the board here. Let's shuffle the categories. There we go. John, select, please. I'm going to take presidents in the upper left corner, please. Presidents, upper left. All right, John, this man's family was too poor to send him to school. He was apprenticed to a tailor at an early age. Later, he became a congressman. Finally succeeded Abraham Lincoln to the presidency. Name him. Andrew Johnson. You got it. Put an O in the box on presidents. $500 in the pot. We'll be back in just a moment. Now. Okay, back to the board. $500 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Okay, Janet, select, please. I think I'll take presidents. Top center, presidents, all right. Here's your question, Janet. When he was a Civil War officer, this president earned the nickname of Unconditional Surrender. Name him. Grant? Yes, Ulysses S. Grant. Put an X in the box on presidents, and let's shuffle again. In the pot, $700. Sir John Rant. I have no choice. I got to go for the block with foreign words. Bottom center for a block of Janet. Foreign words. John, answer this. You'll block Janet. Take a look at this foreign word, please. This is the word a Frenchman might use to describe a feature of geography. To block Janet, name it. Mountain. You got it. M-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Mountain. So that's good for a block. Put an O there and let's shuffle the categories again. $900 in the pot. Janet? I think I'd like funny ladies. Funny ladies, it shall be then, Janet. Question. In 1980, this talented entertainer starred in a comedy called Loving Couples. Her other funny roles have included Sweet Charity and Irma LaDuce. Name her. Shirley MacLaine. Yes, the great Shirley MacLaine. Great actress and super comedian. Put an X there. $1,100 in the pot. Four boxes remaining as we move them around again. <laughs> And we find games, action films, secret category, and foreign words, son. I need games for the block. Yeah, for a diagonal block, answer this correctly on games, John. In the game of blackjack, an ace can be counted as one of two different values. The lower of those values is one. For a block, what's the other? Eleven. Right, one and eleven. That's what an ace is good for. Put an O there, good for a block, diagonally on the board. $1,300 in the pot, and three boxes left on the board. Let's shuffle again. Janet, secret category, foreign words and physics. What's it going to be? I think I'd like foreign words, Wayne. Foreign words. Janet, take a look at this foreign word. When visiting Mexico, you might check to see if the shop owner has this sign in his store window. 
What does it mean? It means open. Yes, overt or open. <laughs> Very good. Excellent, Janet. That's the way we play. Put an X there. Two boxes remaining. $1,500 in the pot. The categories that show up in these two boxes will decide what happens to you two in this game. Let's shuffle. John? Action films for the block, Wink. To block Janet, John, answer this on action films. Get it correct, and we will have a tie game. In the 1975 film, Dog Day Afternoon, this actor won an Academy Award nomination for his gripping performance as a misguided man who holds up a New York City bank. For a tie game, name the actor. Al Pacino. You're right, and we got a tie. For Al Pacino. And $1,700 in the pot. We didn't need that foreign words, that bottom right-hand corner. We're going to show you nine new subjects now. And the box and the categories and the pot will continue to grow from $1,700. Here they are. Here are the subjects. Numero uno, mythology, movies, bills and billies, classical music, rock music, names the same, cooking, and football. Second game, Janet, you begin. I'll take classical music. It'll take in a shot center. at that classical music. I could almost tell by the look on your face. You didn't know, but well, you're going to try anyway. Let's see what happens. Because he needed the money, this German composer wrote The Messiah in just 24 days. At one particular London presentation, the King of England stood in tribute during its famous chorus. First, name the composer, and then name the famous chorus from Messiah. Janet, think about that for a few seconds. Janet, name the composer of the Messiah. That was Handel. Right, George Friedrich Handel. Name the famous chorus from the Messiah, and we'll put an X in that center box. I don't know it. No, guess the no. Hallelujah Chorus from the Messiah, the Hallelujah Chorus. $1,700 remaining in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And John, as they take different positions, you take a look now and select. I'm going to take uh, rock music in the lower left, please. Rock music. There's a subject that John ought to know something about. He's written a lot of songs. When the Yardbirds disbanded in 1968, guitarist Jimmy Page formed another group which recorded the hit songs Whole Lot of Love and Stairway to Heaven. Name the band, John. Led Zeppelin. Right. Put it all in that box. And another $200 in the pot makes this game worth $1,900. With Janet and John, we'll be back in a moment. Just feels bad. We're going to have to stop. We'll continue this game. A uh, good match between John and Janet on the next show. Or Janet and John, since she's our uh, champion. I'm Wink Martindale for Tic Tac Toe. Goodbye, everybody. Some of our departing contestants will receive enhanced instant hair conditioner, overworked hair is drained of its natural moisturizers, enhanced moisturizers, overworked hair. And Max the Manicure says try my old palm olive dishwashing liquid. Palm olive softened hands while you do dishes, makes loads of thick, long lasting suds. Also, 100% pure three top frozen pear grape juice, unlike other frozen grape juices. Tree top adds pear juice for sweetness, not sugar. Plus, Hall's Mentholiptus cough tablets. Vapor action penetrates deep to help your stuffy nose feel clearer. Hall soothes your throat, helps your cough. And trust Listerine. Listerine is strong to give you the clean breath that lasts hours. Listerine antiseptic kills the germs that can cause bad breath.
da, 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 da. Look at this studio, filled with glamorous prizes, fabulous and exciting merchandise, including this. Discover what luxury really means in this $41,000 Gucci Cadillac. Handsomely elegant, an 18-karat gold pocket watch. And make your den a screening room with this giant screen TV. Over $123,000 just waiting to be won on Wheel of Fortune. And now, here's your host, Pat Sajak. Um, thank you. Thanks, Jack. Thank you all. I thought I just saw a Gucci Cadillac. That couldn't have been. Now it is time to present our hostess. Please welcome Vanna White. Here she is. Vanna. Kind of meet our uh, three players who'll be participating in all the action here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Pat. You are Linda Emmerman Cornick. I sure am. I got am. all the names in from uh, Dallas, Texas. What do you do back in Dallas, Linda? Oh, I teach art at a university there. Ah, what's your favorite? Uh, what, what what kind what kind of art interests you personally? Well, I do oil paintings myself, and mostly 20th century contemporary. Gotcha. It says you like to do some running and uh, work crossword puzzles too. That's right. A wide variety of interests. Good to have you here, Linda. Tim Ford is with us from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Tim is a student back there at the university. University of Florida. What are you studying? Uh -huh. I'm studying uh, international business. And then what happens when all that's over? What do you want to and do? And then with that? Uh, hopefully I can get a job that incorporates traveling wherever, however. And then you get older and then you pass away. That's well, life, Tim. You. We just, <laughs> I just, just summed it all up for you. Boy, I'm depressed. Uh, Tim, uh, what else we want to say about you? You buy and sell antique yes, cars. Yes, I love well. antique cars. Okay, good to have you here. Thank uh, you. Rhea, hi. hi. Rhea Cooper from Kirkwood, Missouri. That's right. The homemaker back there. You have some children. Three gr grown children. All grown. Are they spread oh, yeah. around the country, or are they? Are? Somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it says you like uh, you're a part-time antique dealer. That's right. And what else do you like doing your off time? Oh, I play tennis a lot. I'm homemaker. Okay. Well, let's play the Wheel of Fortune now. One thousand dollars, top dollar value for this round. Try not to get bankrupt. If you do, you lose your cash, but not your merchandise, because once you buy a prize, it's yours to keep. Here's our first puzzle. Phrase is the category. Just before the show, we drew numbers so you would start the game, and we have lined them up in that order. And, Linda, you're going to start it off. Good luck, everybody. Okay. 200. I'd like a tea, please. There is one tea. You have $200. It is Yay. a free spin. They can be very important. Thank Let you. us know when you want to use it. One fifty. Okay, I'd like an N, please. We have an N for you. You're up to three fifty. Mm, we give and we take away. You're gonna use it right away, huh? Okay. I'd like a D, please. There you go. One D. 750. Okay. I'd like to buy an A, please. There are some A's. So let's see. One there. And I think there's one more. Yeah. All right. You're down to $500, Linda. What do you want to do? I think I'll spin. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on. $250. i like an R, please. Two R's. That uh, doubles your money. $1,000. Uh, I think I will buy another vowel. Okay. I'd like an O, please. One O. Let's see how that helps. I'll spin. Okay. Two fifty. Uh, may I please have an S? Mm, there is no S. Sorry, Tim. All right. Come on. Let's see some big money here. Can I have an F, please? Two Fs, that's $300. You going again? Yes. All right. <laughs> 100. Uh, may I have an uh, J, please? Uh, no, uh, no J, Rhea. $100. 
Watch the arrow right in front of you. We have two hundred dollars. I'd like a B, please. Give her the B. Well, the rest of all, well, give it. Yeah, please do. Before and after. Yeah, that's it. Sure. Well, before and after. I have some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is you won the game, uh, but you have just two hundred dollars. So, you uh, want the skateboard or the golf putter? Type? I think for two hundred, I'll have the skateboard. I, I can see you spinning around <laughs> in that you? right now. Yes, I can. All right, uh, here's Jack to tell you all about it. Now, smile. <laughs> Indeed, Pat. Well, Rhea, it's Veriflex Professional Alan Losey model skateboard with elbow pads, knee pads, and wrist guards from Veriflex. It's two hundred dollars. Okay. Oh, that's a winner, there. Yeah. Now, Rhea, yes. do not go out without your knee pads, oh, okay? I, I certainly will. Promise us that. We'll be back for our Absolutely. second round. There is more money to be won, I promise you, right after this. <laughs> well, it's better than kicking the head, huh? Yeah. I just have to learn to watch my... Hi there, back for our second round. We still have a $1,000 space on the wheel. Very nice prize out there. Must be made of jade because there's a word on the wheel that says jade. Is that it, Jack? How did you figure that out, Pat? <laughs> yes, it's translucent soft green jade, and it's been carved into a gorgeous perfume bottle decorated with roses and leaves, a contemporary creation using techniques from past centuries. It's a small work of art to treasure. $1,500, Pat. Players, if you land on that special prize, it'll go into your bank, and of course, if you solve the puzzle, that'll become yours, and that's $1,500 worth of jade. That could go a long way toward winning a match around here. I want to remind you, too, of another bankrupt on the wheel, and now we'll get to our next puzzle. Phrase is the category round two, starting with player two, as always. Tim, that would be okay. you. Okay. Come on, Jay. Please. Say it again. L. No, oh, no, no L. Sorry, Rhea. Four hundred. May I have an N, please? We do have some N's. Uh, Eight hundred dollars worth. I'll spin. Okay. Five fifty. May I have a T, please? You may, one T. Keep it up. I'll spin. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I could do that. An R, please. One R. You're up to $1,900, yeah? Um, I'd like to buy a vowel. Which one? I'd like an I, please. Okay, there is your I. Is there a G, please? Sure, that's a good uh, logical call for you. And now you have 1850. I'd like to buy another vowel. An E, please. Is there an, an e? e? I have a feeling there's not. No, Linda. Come on, Thousand! Let's go! It's going to be close, Linda. Ah. So, Tim. A good one for you, 700. I'd like an S, please. This time you found one. There is not only one S, but there are a couple of them, and you have $1,400. Okay. I'd like to buy a vowel on uh, A. Uh huh. Okay. Still have 1150. Uh, I'd like to buy another vowel on O. There are three O's coming up. You have nine hundred dollars left, Kim. Uh, I'd like to spin. Big money. Eight hundred. Okay, may I have a D, please? Give him his D. One thousand seven hundred dollars. Uh, I'd like to buy a vowel. Okay. A U. There are some U's. Two of them. $1,450, Tim. I'd like to spin again. Okay. 
500. 500, uh, may I have a C, please? No, there is no C. And Rhea, you have $1,600. You can spin if you'd like. You can solve the puzzle. Uh, do most anything you'd like to do. Um, I'd like to buy an A, please. No, there are, there are no more vowels, so, so you cannot buy a vowel. That's the rule, yeah. Oh, okay. But, yeah. You lost your turn because you said the A, and the A was... The A was called. You see the problem. Mm -hmm. If you'd said, I, I want to yeah, buy a vowel, we could have alerted right. you there were no vowels, but you right. called the vowel, and you understand the rules, and that means, Linda, it is your turn. Five fifty. Okay, I would like an H, please. No, there's no H. Uh, Tim, you get another crack at it. Two hundred. May I have an M, please? There is no M. Now, Rhea, life doesn't always give you two opportunities, but you've got you've got one here. Three hundred. I'd like a P. Please. Yes, there is one P. That takes you to one thousand nine hundred dollars, and here she goes. Two hundred again. I'd like a Y, please. Mm -hmm. That's uh, $2,100. I'd like to solve the puzzle. I wish you would. Pussy footing around. Yes, that's it. Well, it took some doing, but we uh, do it. $2,100, Gourmet's Delight. What would you like? For 1846, I'd like to go to Hawaii. Well, off you go. And uh, you're not finished shopping quite yet. You have 254 to go. 254. For 236, I'd like the desserts, please. Mm hmm. Yum, yum. One, mm -hmm. uh, eighteen dollars that is. That'll go on a gift certificate for you, assuming you want it that that's, way again. That's fine. And gift here's Jack with your uh, just desserts. Indeed, Pat. Well, Rhea, your gift certificate will be from American Express Merchandise Services Catalog, featuring state-of-the-art electronics, office accessories, and fashions for you and your home from American Express. And every month, a scrumptiously different dessert will arrive at your home, and each dessert will be delivered in a reusable designer tin from the Dessert of the Month Company. Retail value, $236. And finally, we'll fly you and a guest from Los Angeles to Hawaii, where you will stay at the Kauai surf resort situated on Kalapaki Beach. Tropical grounds, golf and tennis, luxury rooms and island entertainment from Kauai Surf. And you'll fly via Western Airlines wide body jet from Los Angeles to Hawaii and you can count on Western for warm hospitality and friendly service in flight from Western Airlines. Total retail value $1,846. Well, it is not over yet. It's anybody's game because we have that big $5,000 space on the wheel for our next round, so come on back. Congratulations again. Thank you. Third round, lots of money on that wheel as advertised. There's that $5,000 space out there, and our next puzzle is person. That's the category. And Rhea, it's up to you to start. Though. I'd like an N, please. And there is one N. You have five hundred dollars. Yeah. Two hundred. Can she do it this time? She can. <laughs> what would you like? A D, as in David. No, there is no D. I'm sorry, Linda. Wow. Can I have a T, please? No, nope, right now, no T, Tim. Okay. Five thousand. Come on, five thousand. Five thousand. Four hundred. May I have an L, please? Yes, one L. You have four hundred dollars. All right. Um, I'd like to spin again. Okay. Two fifty. May I have an S, please? No, and Rhea, it's back to you. Okay. Five hundred. May I have an R, 
please. Two R's. And now you have $1,500. Yeah. I'll spin. Three hundred. May I have a Y, please? There is one Y. One thousand eight hundred dollars. Five hundred. Is there an H, please? There sure is. One H. Twenty three hundred. I'd like to solve the puzzle. For two thousand three hundred dollars, who's this person? Larry Hagman. J.R. himself. Yes. Hello again. Hello. How are you, Larry Hagman? You have twenty-three hundred dollars. The den is where you'll spend it. Well, let's see. Oh, for for uh, make a decision here. Fifteen hundred dollars. The brass cocktail okay. table. Eight hundred dollars left. Here. For seven hundred nineteen. The hearthstone. Okay, the rest will go on another gift certificate for you. Thank That's you. $81. Thank and uh, here's more pleasant duty for Jack. Indeed, Pat. Well, Rhea, this time we start with Hearth Stove by Sierra. Warm your home from your fireplace with this high efficiency wood stove, and you can cook on it too. The Hearth Stove by Sierra, $719. And then Swan combines the brilliance of brass with the classicism of polished onyx to create a coffee cocktail table of noteworthy designs by Swan Products, $1,500. Well. I don't talk to these folks much. So, excuse me one second. I want to do that. Linda and Tim, it goes that way sometimes. Uh, the lady was hot, and uh, we have some nice party gifts for both of you. That's okay. We want to meet you. Oh, good. Good. you. I hope you all feel the same way. Nice to have you here. Uh, Linda, excuse me. This is Rhea right here because I should know. I've said your name so many times during the show. You've won, you won all three rounds. Total $4,600 for this lady. Your anniversary, as we taped the show, was just the other day. Yes. And uh, that means uh, the trip, I guess the Hawaii trip, will be a you kind bet. of a second honeymoon That's sort right. of trip, huh? That's, That's right. terrific. Or 34. Or 34. <laughs> How many? Who's counting, right? Bonus round coming up. Los Angeles. Well, you've looked around the studio at the uh, prizes we have mm -hmm. available on our bonus round on this show, and uh, you went for a biggie, didn't you? I certainly what did. What are you playing for? That gorgeous Cadillac. It is something. Well, here's Jack to tell us about it. It really is, Rhea. You'll be trying for Gucci's Customized Cadillac Seville, a statement of luxurious, elegant, plush distinction with many custom appointments, including Gigi Landau top and gold ornaments from Gucci, OPS. It comes with gold keys and key ring. Retail value, $41,961. Good luck. I'll tell you what we're pulling for you, Rhea. Looking for a thing this time. Give us five consonants and one vowel. Here we go. I'd like an R. That's one. An S. Two. A T. Three. An N. Four. And an L. And your vowel now. An E, please. Going with the E. All right, here's Vanna to turn some letters now. An audience, we ask you to be very quiet, please, playing for this beautiful automobile and over $46,000 in prizes. But that is all you have to work with. Talk it out. You have 15 seconds. It's a thing. Good luck. Brother, I'll tell you, you were so close because you kept saying of honor. Oh, medal. Yeah, medal. that's the, what we needed. Medal yes, of honor. Yes. I'm sorry that didn't work out. <laughs> Doggone it. I'll just put these in my pocket. You do that. Give me some... I've had a wonderful time. I'm glad you did. Happy anniversary to you. Thank you. Thank you. $4,600 in prizes. Thanks, Rhea. We'll take a break. you like that. That's great. Yeah. When you said of honor, I thought you your rookie, Wink Martindale, for my 1979 Gene Rayburn attacks. Oh, you're nuts. Look at how thick Wink's hair is. Oh, I gotta get a young Wink. Trade you for your Phil Stiller burp? Yeah, right. Why don't you just rip my beating heart out? Oh, Wink's gonna go back in my pocket. No, 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 wait. I'll give you my 98 Bob Eubanks gag. 
Uh, there's no such thing as a 98 Banks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Relive your favorite game show moments with the two best friends a fan ever had. Game shows, it's their life. Saturday, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific, only on Game Show Network. Up next on Game Show Network, play Jeopardy! Followed by To Tell the Truth and What's My Line? The prices of the prizes were furnished to the contestants prior to the show and have been rounded off to the nearest dollar. Gift certificates do not include sales tax. Fortune is produced by Merv Griffin Enterprises, distributed by Columbia TriStar Television.